now here welcome back to a new video and um, yeah the main part of the video I won't be sitting here and uh, just you see me talking about something but this is like the introduction because I didn't do a proper introduction this is actually um, the last day of my uh, Düsseldorf trip where I visited my friend Michi uh, where yeah you already saw some of the like toy hunts like the market thing and also my like cosplay slash pony pickup video and um, and this is the last day so it's Tuesday and we went on some uh, still uh, again some um, toy hunting and in thrift stores but there wasn't much so that's why sometimes I just skip filming when there was nothing in the stores and um, I'm afraid that the footage that I have of this day is kind of short that's why I wanted to film like a proper introduction so you know that uh, you will see what I vlogged uh, in some uh, minutes but you um, we will also return to me here in the future uh, where I show you uh, actually then what I picked up because sometimes I didn't show you what I picked up and um, let's just uh, jump into the video so you will see me at Smith Stores, Smith Toy Superstores. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. <laughs> still in Düsseldorf, still toy hunting and vintage and whatever hunting we're right now in a giant toy store. It's Smith Super Toys and we just have a look here. We like hit the road with Barbie right now and this is like the giant plushy aisle. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. actually quite nice <laughs> it's like the only like big toy store chain in Germany that I still know because they are really they have like huge hallways full of all the toys that you know like full of dinosaurs full of I don't know LL surprise and stuff like that and they also still carry some Star Wars some Star Wars black series and um, they also have Funkos <laughs> and they had like sorry bliss Funko for five euro so super uh, cheap. That's why I got her. And um, 
I mean, the rest is the stuff that you find always, but I think I, in Berlin, I don't have access to one of those big stores unless I go by car. So that's why I found it quite nice to be here in one. We just strolled around and find a lot of interesting stuff. Like we found still Beyblades. We didn't know that no. Beyblades are still existing. <laughs> so, yeah. which is like a, like a chain um, where like everything that you donate uh, is sold there like garments, toys, like uh, household items, everything, books and, and, and it's a good shop but it was a very small one there was like nothing, just one fakey pony in there which I didn't want so um, but it was an interesting store because like this is a good opportunity if you want to like uh, get rid of some things like of old books or you can just bring it there so that's nice and now we're more in the center of Düsseldorf so like Immermannstraße and like uh, we're planning to visit some stores around here I just I, I thought just I will, will just update you because right now I'm eating my delicious udon and probably I can't eat and film at the same time. because we have to wait before uh, people come out of the shop again so <laughs> yeah by the way I, I totally forgot to film uh, our great novelties but yeah, oh, I, can, I, can, I can insert some photos <laughs> One was big, but that was a toy store, obviously. So, <laughs> I mean, no vintage stuff yet. Mm, no. Oh, 
nice Kylo Ren, 20% off. <laughs> inside right without any no lines or anything yeah 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 and that is Ani Ageha. Ani Ageha. about getting a pop teen again I would be very interested uh, what's kind of in fashion right now concerning boring Japanese uh, girls but Insanely uh, cheap over at this uh, Smith Toys Superstore store. Um, I 
liked this character in episode 9, especially from the look. So she would have been uh, the only character that I considered cosplaying, but I didn't because it's also something with a like, very yeah, difficult helmet for me, so I didn't do it. But now I picked up the Funko Pop for what was it, 5 euro. So easy peasy. And we also went, as, as I said, we went into thrift stores, which I was just one uh, fakey pony, nothing else, and not even any other toys, so it was more like garments. Um, but we also went into a comic shop, which is a really good comic shop in Düsseldorf. Um, but the owner is a little bit difficult and I didn't want to ask him um, if I can film in there. So I just, um, yeah, I didn't film anything there. But they had a lot of Star Wars comics, which I really like. I usually don't go into comic stores in Berlin. I always pick up my comics on conventions because then it's a nice like thing to remember where I picked up this comic. Recently, some comics I ordered online because of course there are no conventions currently. But there is this comic shop just in the middle, like in the city center. And we went there and I picked up three um, Star Wars comics. Uh, the first one here is the Darth Maul, um, uh, like, let's call it mini-series, uh, which came out, I think, in 2017, it's kind of a long time ago. And then this, um, uh, this comic version where, like, all the chapters are in, came out maybe in 2018 or something, and I kind of never picked it up. I don't know, I never saw it, and I picked up something else, but it's like Darth Maul. Um, before, even before episode one, which is uh, super interesting to me. It's something I'm, I'm, I'm really into um, the prequel times and before prequel times, um, especially with the characters that you know, and Darth Maul is a super interesting character, and uh, this is one of his first missions that he's doing, like actually not really for Palpatine, but he's doing it more for himself, to prove himself, as if he's able to kill a Jedi, and then he's, uh, yeah, he's freeing this, this, um, um, Padawan and like yeah, this is the story. Does he kill her or not? El uh, It's a cool one. I am uh, like was surprised uh, that I still found it there because this is not a new one, but they like had a good selection of Star Wars comics. I mean, it's still new because um, I only read comics and books concerning Star Wars from the new canon, so no legends. Except for some comics. But actually, I'm interested in all the new canon stuff. Then I picked up um, this Dr. Afra one, which is the. I think the fifth one? I think it's the fifth um, one, because it's an ongoing series, obviously, and Dr. Afra is one of my favorite characters, it's one of my favorite uh, comic. Um, comic series and I needed to have this one, I didn't have this one and yeah, haven't read it yet but it's, um, can't really tell you what she is, she's here with Dr. Avazon and Ponda Baba and as you know I cosplay Dr. Afra, she's such a cool character, she's funny, she's crazy and She's looking cool, so yeah. And um, the last one is this Thrawn comic, which is um, like the same story as the Thrawn, the first Thrawn book, which um, came out some years ago when um, after Thrawn was brought back into the canon through Rebels, and then Timothy Zahn brought out a book, of course, about his origins, and this is also the comic. And I never, I've never seen it, but Thrawn is one of my favorite characters and also um, of course Arinda Price is in here, which Michi cosplayed, so interesting to see how they turned it into a comic. It's also not new, so none of these is like, re oh, well, the upper one is probably the newest one here. <laughs> I'm really interested to see how they turned it into a comic. If like how, how they did all this relationship with like Night Swan, really interested to see that. So, and um, I really like how it's drawn. So that's also something like 
very important to me that I like the, um, the drawing style. That's actually everything I picked up that day. So, and, and you didn't even see me picking this up. Uh, we still had a great day. You probably seen that I that we ate a lot, love Japanese things, and we went into Japanese stores as you've seen. But this is nothing that I really want to like talk about here because I didn't get anything there. And yeah, I still hope that you uh, liked to follow me along in Düsseldorf on this last day and um, like these Star Wars pickups that I uh, did. And yeah, have a nice day. See you real soon, and may the frost be with you. Bye.